Hi my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on a product that uh, I recently bought, so we're going to try it. It is the Nivea Men After Shave Balm, so we're going to see. I heard so many good things about this that you could use as a primer before your foundation, so we'll try it out and see if it works, if I like it or not, and give you my reviews on this product. So. The aftershave balm, there's two, the original and the sensitive one, so my skin is not that sensitive, so I got the original one. So hopefully it works, if not, I'm going to try out the sensitive if anything goes wrong with this one, but I'm just going to try the original one and see how it works. So it's this, it's supposed to make, the, well the result supposed to be skin looks healthy and smooth, skin feels moisturized long after application. And we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And well, this um, Nivea After Shave Balm, it was for I got it Walgreens and I got it for seven dollars or eight dollars, I think. So, one of those two, but it's seven something, I think. So, here's the bottle when I take it out of the box. It's this nice blue cap with a white bottle, and it, it feels like a glass, doesn't feel like plastic it feels glass it's a glass bottle so to use apply literally to a face and neck after shaving I'm not shaving but we're gonna use it as a primer and see how it goes nice cute little bottle it definitely would look nice on my vanity desk so let's try so the cap goes like this it would be nice if it would have a pump, but it doesn't, it's just take it out. So first let me shake it, I think. Let me shake it first, I don't know. Hope we shake it. It smells like man, it smells so nice. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand. It's uh, like a milky, a milk consistency. It is um, like water, like liquid. So let's see and try it on. It smells so nice. It smells like man. So we'll see how it goes. So just apply it. I think I'm just going to tap into my skin. First rub it and then tap it. So yes, rub and then tap. Well, this how I did. So it's kind of like tacky. It feels tacky sticky on the face so probably that's how it's gonna keep the foundation in place and everything we put on the face so I just put it in my face it feels tacky sticky so probably will stay the foundation in place mm. I feel like I could see still my pores when I see it in the mirror they're still visible I could still see the pores. But other than that, I don't feel my face dry at all. A little bit sticky, tacky, but after I put the foundation and the powder and concealer and everything else, we'll see how it goes. So I'll get back to you guys. So after I finish my makeup and everything, I will show you the results and we'll I'll keep you posted throughout the day to see if it's lasting, if it didn't, I like it or or what happens with this product so we'll see so I'll see you guys in a few minutes have a beautiful friend so I'm back so I already put the put my foundation my the setting powder um I did my eyes my lips like I bronze put some blush some highlight so we'll see how it lasted with the the Nivea aftershave balm so we'll see if I like it so far when I apply my foundation and everything like all my makeup on 
I actually like how it feels on my face. Like it doesn't feel, it's not sticky or tacky. It feels nice. It doesn't feel sticky or nothing. So hopefully the tackiness will make the foundation and the setting powder um, um, last longer. So hopefully I, I don't feel my face dry or anything. Even though my face is kind of dry in this winter wonderland. So right now it's okay. I, I like how it, it's on my face. So right now it's 12-12. I don't know, it's too late, but it's 12, 13 right now. So we'll see how it lasts this and how I like it. So I'm gonna be keeping you guys today in a few hours. Hi my friends, it's, I'm back. It's 5.21 and it's an update about the Nivea primer. So as you guys can see, I'm an oily. My face was really, really oily. So, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see what this light is like. Really bright in my face, right? But hopefully you guys can see it. Besides that, um, I don't know. Pretty much, it's been, let me see what time it is. It's 5.31. And it's been hanging quite good right there the makeup and everything so i really really like it it gives me the that glow but i'm not so shiny and oily so i really like it by this time three or four hours i'm already oily my face so i don't know like it really control my oil my face and the contour it's still there the blush still there still see it the highlight still there my eyebrows are still there, so girl, I don't know, I really like it. It's been five hours already, five and a half, and I really, really like it. It's pretty good, this primer, I really like it, and I think I'm going to be using it. The only thing that, um, the thing that it's, that I don't like, it doesn't minimize your pores, but that's not an issue. With, I could still solve the problem i could still put the primer the Nivea primer and still put my minimizer pore primer on so i'm gonna next i'm gonna try that out and i'll let you guys know how it works but to minimize my pores because i could still see them from this side i don't know if you guys could tell but i could tell from here to the mirror that i'm looking right now so that's the only issue but i know could, that problem could be solved so next time I'm going to put the primer, the Nivea primer, and then the pore minimizer primer, and we'll see how it works. Hopefully it goes well. Overall, I really, really like this, the Nivea aftershave balm. So I really, really like it. I'm still going to keep using it as a primer, and we'll see how it goes. Normally, it's like an eight hour like that a person in a day has their makeup on or more or less, I don't know, but usually it's like an eight hour. So I'm still gonna wait until later on to give you guys an update. I haven't even um, retouched my makeup. I haven't even put no more powder on my face, nothing. So it's good, it's good. Still sticking there. So I'll give you guys an update in a few more hours and we'll see how it goes. Hi my friends, I'm back. And with the final results of the review of the Nivea aftershave balm, so it's let me see, it's a seventeen. It's almost eight thirty, so I've been wearing this primer for almost eight eight and a half hours already. Been wearing my primer or the Nivea aftershave primer for eight and a half hours so I think a typical day for a person it's eight hours of wearing makeup so probably could be more but it's gonna give my results to this point and if you guys could see it did last it a long time all my foundation my contour and my blush it did last it my eyes 
Oh, actually, my eyebrows, it did last there. It didn't smear. I don't see any, like, spots missing of foundation or stuff like that. So, I think it's good. So, I think I approved the review. Well, the product, I do approve it. So, I think I really do like it. And I really see, like, it did hold my makeup for the whole entire day. Almost the whole entire day, so... I, I didn't have to use any, I didn't have to use any powder or any pressed powder for my face, so I didn't, I didn't have to retouch anything, so I really like it. It really did last a long time, so the only thing that I said on my last review, the pores, but that's it, but besides that, I really like the product, so, and hopefully you guys, if you guys use this product, um, please leave a comment below and with a hashtag Nivea Aftershave Balm to see if you guys use it and if you guys like it and if you, if you guys approve it. And yeah, so we're going to call it a night and this is my review. Right now I'm actually a little bit oily but that's it. Hopefully you guys could see. I'm going to call it at a night and hopefully you guys like this review if you guys like it comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see more reviews about any products that's coming up in the 2016 so yeah yeah guys let me know thank you so much for watching and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you bye i'll see you guys in my next video bye